Well, today, guys, I'm going to be working on this 12-valve uh, Cummins head here, and this is for the uh, Project Black Betty build, the uh, Chevrolet Cummins. So, uh, like I said before, I'm going to try to get close to a thousand horsepower. If not, maybe a little more. So, uh, let me kind of show you what's going on here. This is the uh, intake elbow. This is the intake plate right here, and right underneath it, this piece right here is called the intake plenum. So the plan is, is to take this intake plenum off the head. And as you can see, it, this head's cast in one piece. This intake plenum does not bolt up to this head. So this is what I'm going to do is uh, detach this intake plenum off this head, guys. So instead of having an air inlet that comes in like this right here, and you go to making a lot of horsepower, you're starving these cylinders back here for air. You're actually... Uh, getting more horsepower in certain cylinders than you are others because of uh, the amount of airflow. So uh, we're going to make everything precise and uh, even when it comes to the airflow. So after I get this intake plenum cut off here, I'm going to take this head back up to the machine shop and they're going to finish uh, milling all this uh, intake off after I get this plenum cut off. So they're going to mill it off and then uh, I'm going to get a uh, a, like a header style intake for it and it'll come up as 90s each piece will come up as a 90 off of each uh, cylinder so uh, and then it's going to have a big tube up here on the top that's actually going to be the intake with uh, the inlet coming in here instead of being here guys so uh, anyhow so this little level right here we're not using that this uh, intake plate right here we're not using that. That stuff's going to be trash now. So, uh, anyway, on the back side of this head here, guys, like I said, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to cut this intake plenum off this head, as you can see where my chalk line is right here. And this is all casted into one, as one piece here. As you can see what I was talking about, this intake ends right here. Well, you got these two valves back here. And that's, uh, it's a pretty poor design for airflow to these Cummins, so uh, we're fixing that. So what I'm going to use to uh, cut that plenum off is these uh, metal cutting wheels here, and I'm going to use a circular saw, just a uh, piece of junk Makita that I have laying around, and uh, I'm going to use that, guys, and we're going to cut this head off. So the idea is for this... Uh, for this project here today came from this book that uh, Fax and Auto Literature has uh, supplied the diesel stop here, guys. So uh, if you hadn't had the chance, go get yourself one of these books. It, I'm telling you what, they're well worth the money. They're very inexpensive. And uh, I'll put the link down below the video here. And plus over there in my profile, I have a link to uh, Fax and Auto Literature, guys. And uh, this book right here talks about what I'm gonna be doing here today, guys. Well guys, I uh, used some masking tape here and I masked off the uh, resurfaced part of the head here. So uh, I didn't want to be running the bottom of my saw here on this uh, resurfaced head here. So that's the reason behind the uh, masking tape on it. I could have uh, done this before I had the head machine, but it really doesn't matter. So uh, one of the things you could do if you didn't feel comfortable with doing this yourself, there is a, a couple of machine shops out there on the internet that I found that will uh, actually take this intake plenum off for you. It's about $250 if they cut it off and then finish machining it down. So uh, my whole big thing is here on this is uh, I wanted to show you guys what was going on. With me cutting it off and everything, you can see what it's going to kind of look like here. So uh, anyhow guys, I'm going to get busy here. I'm going to get everything set up and I'm going to take my saw and I'm going to leave about a quarter inch sticking out off of this head on this uh, intake plenum here and then the machine shop will come back in and, and resurface everything down where it's nice and smooth and they're going to have to go back in and drill and uh, tap holes into this uh, this head after this intake plenum has gone for the uh, new flange to sit down on this head and bolt up.
Here's part of the intake plenum, guys. Well, guys, it's a little bit windy out here, so you're going to have to deal with a little bit of the wind for a minute. But uh, anyway, I made a second cut across here. And this here is the uh, material that I took off the second time. And, of course, it's just a sliver of it. But uh, it's going to be machined off quite a lot more. It's actually going to be machined off, clean up to the sides right here. And uh, that's how much more material is going to come off. So there's still another... Uh, probably close to half an inch but the uh, they'll come in here and machine it all off and then they'll come back in here and drill holes to uh, bolt on the uh, the uh, plate for the uh, intake so anyhow guys that's what it's looking like I'm gonna get this thing washed up and uh, spray down with some WD-40 and I'll show you what it looks like here in a minute I just sprayed it down with some uh, simple green and now I'm gonna rinse it off with the hose and dry it off and spray it down with WD-40 so guys, this is what it looks like now that the uh, intake plenum's cut off on the side of the head here. And of course, I got a lot more work to do on this head yet. Well, I don't, but the machine shops do. So uh, is what they'll come back in here and do is uh, they're going to machine the rest of this plenum off all the way up to this point right here on this head. And then they got to uh, drill and tap holes in it for the uh, intake flange to bolt up to this head here. So. Uh, the whole reason behind this, for the person that usually asks me, well, I don't get it, let me explain it to you so you can get it. This, this uh, intake bolted up right here. Well, there's only one little uh, hole right here for the uh, airflow to go into the Cummins head. So we're going to increase the airflow on this head by quite a bit, by 125 horses. And that's, uh, that's not even porting and polishing, which I'm going to do. So uh, anyhow whenever the intake gets bolted on here and as you can see these are the intake ports on the uh, head here they actually uh, make a 90 degree bend on each one of these like I said 90 degree bend and then there's a big piece of pipe up here on the top has a plate on the back side of it a big piece of pipe on the top comes over and your airflow comes into the top and it's like a header design it will go into each individual airport so uh, anyhow we're going to get rid of this thing. I don't need it anymore. I'll just uh, throw it in the uh, parts basket and save it for later. You never know. And uh, if you had not had the chance, go get this book right here from uh, Facts and Auto Literature. I'm going to put the link down below this video. This book is worth its weight in gold right here. And uh, it's very inexpensive. So it's uh, the Diesel High Performance Builder's Guide. And you can pick yours up at uh, Facts and Auto Literature, guys. So with that being said, We'll see you later, and uh, the next time that I make a video, we're actually going to uh, be uh, getting this head sent off for porting and polishing, and then uh, here next week, I guess, uh, we'll see how the uh, new ceramic coated pistons look like. So, other than that, we'll see you later, guys.